Hey, what's up guys? Eshin here. Back again to talk about some Kingdom Hearts stuff. Surprising, I know. It's like I never talk about Kingdom Hearts. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to talk about this, you know, it's kind of old news at this point, but the fact that during DT3 we got a release window for Kingdom Hearts 3, and I just kind of want to talk about whether or not it's actually going to come out in 2018 or not. And you've probably seen it if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan at all. You've probably seen the memes or whatever on the internet of people saying that it's already delayed. Like, I think as soon as someone, there's two that, that come to mind in particular. There's one that someone posted as soon as it was announced. They were like a fake headline saying, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 already delayed 2019, which was stupid. And then there's another one saying, having a Toy Story world is appropriate for Kingdom Hearts 3 because it stops development every time someone looks at it, which again is stupid because Kingdom Hearts 3 has only been in development for, since like late 2012, early 2013. I'm not 100% sure on that. And even the game's director itself, Tetsuya Nomura, said that Kingdom Hearts 3 was revealed too early. Now, I know a lot of people like to dispute, oh, it's been 10, 11, 12, however many fucking years since Kingdom Hearts 2. And yeah, that's technically true. But most of the series has come out since 2. And some people like to argue, it's like, oh, well, all the games are released in so many different systems and... You would have to have like three or four different systems in order to play them all. It's like, yeah, I know. That sucks. And I didn't play a bunch of them. Like, I didn't play... <clears throat> I never really was able to finish Birth by Sleep because my PSP broke when I was like halfway through Ventus' story. I didn't even play Terra or Aqua. And um, I never... Um, I wasn't even really a fan of Kingdom Hearts when I actually had a DS. And when, the, when uh, especially Days came out and... Then Recoded is a game that most people, King Wars fans, agree that has very little to do with the actual overall story. It just kind of gives some more context. I think in the HD remastered cinematics, they added some new stuff that expands the story a little bit. Um, but it's mostly just filler, I, I would call it. And um, but so yeah, I didn't play any of the DS games. I didn't, even, I didn't even actually play a Kingdom Hearts game, like, all the way through until, like, I don't even know, like, 2010, probably. So, um, probably around that, 2009, 2010, one of those years. So, I know I haven't had a wait between all the games like everyone else has, but I'm still excited for Kingdom Hearts 3 just as much. But also, they're all on PlayStation 4 now. Every single Kingdom Hearts game, except for Unchained Key, or... Union Cross or whatever the hell it's called now, but that one I don't know how important it is to the overall story yet. I have a feeling that that stuff and like the keyback cover stuff might be setting up stuff for after Kingdom Hearts three, and it might be tied into a little bit, like we see like the Master of Masters and that was his Keyblade, and now it's Zaynorts and all that stuff, and you know there's the Foretellers, and they might have some. I don't think they're going to be a huge part of Kingdom Hearts three. They could be, but I don't think so. I hope not because that's way too much stuff going on but anyway so you can play well two of the games you have to watch cutscenes for but that's what fine whatever but all the important games they, like the four the, the five important games and sort of story wise they should absolutely play is one two birth by sleep dream drop distance and then 0 0.2 and those are all very important to the main story you need to play those all now chain of memories and 358 Days Over 2, those are more filler stories that both take place in between 1 and 2 and kind of give more context to things that was happening. They give more context to Roxas and the organization, and they kind of explain to you why the Hellsword was sleeping in the beginning of 2 and all that and all that stuff and why, yeah, whatever. It was, it was a filler, but it had some important story access, but even, especially with Chain of Memories because the gameplay is so different, um, I can understand why people would want to skip the one and maybe just catch up on the story. That's fine. But definitely play 1, 2, Birth of Sleep, Dream Drop Distance, and 0 0.2. Those are the ones you absolutely need to play because those are the most important ones. Now, back to what I actually wanted to talk about. Now, now that I'm done with all that explaining, that was kind of off on a tangent that I didn't really quite plan on doing. But 2018, if it comes out, let's say it comes out March 2018, that's about five years of development total. That's pretty normal for games development. I know some people might be like, oh, well, there's a call, new Call of Duty every year and a new Assassin's Creed every year. And it's like, well, there's three studios working on Call of Duty games and they have three years each. And those are not as big of a scale as a game as Kingdom Hearts 3. And also, they can just reuse assets. 
because you know they're just first person shooter campaigns yeah they make new stories and probably do some new stuff but it's like it's not like each game is a huge leap forward in terms of whatever you want to call it and with assassin's creed pretty much every one of ubisoft's like main like ubisoft um uh what's the main one montreal ubisoft montreal and like all those other like ubisoft whatever city they all pretty much work on every Assassin's Creed game at once. So there's thousands of people across the world working on one game. And that's why they always get leaked. Like, almost every Assassin's Creed game has been leaked. And that's why there's so many people working on one game. And that's how they come out every year. Or they, well, except for last year, but now they come out with Origins. But, you know, whatever. You know, you know what I mean? And then with Kingdom Hearts 3, there's two things you have to consider. One, Square Enix does take kind of longer to develop games internally. Like... It's just whatever. I think they might be perfectionist or whatever. I don't know. I think Ted T. Moore is also especially guilty of that. Um, I remember saying stuff because like with Final Fantasy 15, it was taking forever. Then uh, Tabata came in and it was done like within a year. But I don't know. There's probably more stuff that we don't know about. But that's besides the point. But also, uh, I want to say it was about two years ago. It was like a, a year or two years ago, or something like that, around that time frame, where they completely switched engine. Completely. They originally, they were using their own in-house engine. I believe it was called Luminous, which was an in-house Square Enix developed engine. But they dropped that and switched over to Unreal Engine 4, which was the first time they were using that engine. And I believe that's part of the reason why they made 0.2 to kind of work around the engine and see, and then release something and kind of get feedback on what they need to improve on for Kingdom Hearts 3 so it can be as good as it can be. And also, there's some story threads that they wanted, I assume they just want to tie up as well with that but so I, I think there's interviews during t2 d23 or actually maybe before that where they said the game has already been delayed internally at least once so maybe the game was planning it to come out this year but due to the engine change it, it it's not going to happen so i still think that this game could come out in like early next year and maybe they'll announce like maybe sometime later this year or an event next year early next year they'll announce uh, actual release date like you know month day year all that stuff everything we need to know and then maybe it'll get delayed from that point maybe it'll get pushed from like spring to like holiday which whatever that's i'll be really sad but that's not too bad but i don't even think because tetsuya mora he said that he's very very determined to hit that goal like that like he's very sure positive that he's gonna hit the goal of 2018 and then you know, that's a very vague like you know it's a whole year you know that could be anywhere from the first to the 31st um as you know everyone knows that's how years work but i don't know i personally don't think it'll be delayed i think everyone's been way reacting about king wars 3 being in development for forever or taking so long to come out and it's really not but like pretty much the hardcore king wars fans they know that and they're just really excited for king wars 3 and everything that and i'm one of those people i'm like i'm not stupid and think that you only need to play one and two to be prepared for three and that birth by sleep and dream just are just side stories and not going to tie into three at all if you think that and play three you're going to be utterly confused and have no clue what's going on just watch the trailers they show characters in the trailers or yeah yeah they show characters in the trailers they're like who the fuck is that and they explain that in the other games so you gotta play them anywho that's about all my thoughts for king march three being delayed out of 2018 or not uh, I really don't think it will be, and I think people need to stop overreacting and act like this game has been development hell for years. It's not like it's a Duke Nukem Forever situation or a Final Fantasy XV situation. The game has only been in development for, for a few years. It, according to Tetsuya Nomura, the game's director, the game was announced too early. It was pretty much announced the year started development around that time, and it should have been announced in like 2015. Like, the, the trailer we got at E3 2015 should have been the announcement trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3. And then nobody would be bitching that it's been taken... I mean, to be like, oh, it's been so long since Kingdom Hearts uh, 2 or whatever, but, you know, whatever. I don't know, but that's the end of this kind of ranty type video. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow and all that stuff, like every YouTuber out there. And also, if you watch to the end, you see the little end cards pop up. Um, please subscribe to my Let's Play channel, Zeno Plays. You can also find it in the description and in my channels tab on my page. Uh, me and my friend Kevin uh, are doing some good things there, so please subscribe to that. Uh, I very much appreciate it. So thank you guys once again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.